So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm using the wall stainless steel snap-on and I'm going to use the C which is seven eighths in, um, inches of an inch, seven eighths of an inch and over a 30 blade. And I'm going to start up behind her, her ears. Oops, sorry, so. And I'm just going to follow the way her coat grows. And I'm going to do this until I get to about just, just behind her shoulders. And then I'm going to go to a little bit longer snap-on just to give her a little bit of a rise in, a rise in her rear. <laughs> I feel guilty. Why, well, taking all the hair off? Yeah. Well, I'd be loving it. Huh? <laughs> You'll You'd love be loving it. it. You'll love it because then when it comes back in, it won't be as bad. She's never really bad, though. Even when she's matted, she's never bad. She's such a good dog. No, I'm talking about on you to have to groom. I know. But you know what? Doing something a little different, I like a little bit of a challenge, so I kind of like... Although my... Well, I guess if you own your own shop and you have a bunch of people working for you, you can afford to sit here and scissor Oh, here we go. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Poor abused Jay. He has to work all by himself and wash his own dogs. When you grow up like me, you'll be able to have somebody else do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm just following the way her coat grows, and you can see how I'm going kind of back at an angle, because the coat doesn't actually grow straight down. If you come straight down the sides, you're going to have lines, drag marks, uh, clipper lines from the, your comb going in her coat. So if you look at any dog, the coat usually grows slightly back, and you want to follow exactly how that coat grows. And Sue's using a switchblade clipper, which is a variable speed clipper. And notice she doesn't have it on the highest setting. Um, a lot of people tend to just turn their clippers on and automatically put it on high. And what that does is it heats up the blades and it also makes the motor run hot. So if you have a good clipper with a um, sharp blade on there, you shouldn't have to run it on high every single time you turn it on. Um, it just gives you the feeling that you're, you're doing it faster. But you can see, I mean, it cuts through hair just as well um, on a lower speed setting. And it doesn't burn up your blades as much. The high heat causes so much friction. You'll look at your blades and they almost look like they're rusted. If you're going to use them on high, make sure you keep your blades oiled well. She's going to look so much thinner when she's done. She looks like she's heavy. Before. Yeah, you just wait. You wait till she's all done. You'll take back those words. Yeah, ask me in three hours. <laughs> You're a smart Alec. <laughs> Jay Scruggs. Actually, this is a trim, though. Uh, I mean, she's been bathed and prepped, and she's mat free, doesn't have any tangles or anything like that. So, this is a trim you could actually do fairly quick with snap-on combs. Now, if you go and you try to scissor something like this, of course, it's going to take you a lot longer. But um, we like to to cheat. <laughs> I do, anyway. Well, really with her, because she comes in every three weeks, she doesn't have, like, a tremendous amount of growth. So I probably put, just in her scissor work, probably an hour into finishing her. Um, but I'm also doing it more with thinning shears than I am with straight shears, which takes uh, definitely takes a lot longer because you have to do like a lot more blending and kills your hand <laughs> so I'm, I'm not taking anything on her face I'm so if I run my hand right down behind the backs of both of her ears and just kind of a circle right down underneath I'm gonna hold all of this stuff up and by taking all this off it's automatically gonna shorten her up in body so it's going to draw your eye closer towards the middle of the dog, so it's just going to take a lot of this weight off the front of her chest. But I am going to leave a bib on her, so what I'm, what I'm doing, when I come down, her breastbone is like right about here. So just a little bit above the breastbone, I'm going to just kind of scoop out. 
and I'm going to come down the like her point of shoulder is right here so I'm just going to kind of skim some of this off so it's just going to kind of stylize her up a little bit is that right is that, is that a word stylize her sure sure kind of like knit <laughs> You can actually do a lot of blending in a coat like this using your snap-on combs just by kind of skimming out and skimming away from the shorter into the long. 